What is up, Ghoul Army? Dark Ghoul here, back at it again with another video. But in today's video, guys, we got ourselves an eBay auction. Yes, another eBay auction. And I know it's been a while, but the main reason why there hasn't been a recent eBay auction is because they're starting not to be worth it. So I'd rather do hunting videos at like a thrift store or something along those lines to find some stupid cheap Pokemon cards. Because every time I go on eBay, I literally play myself every single time. I mean, I get a decent card here and there, but they're never in good condition. And I just keep crying, being in the corner of my room, being depressed because I'm making bad purchases. No, I'm just kidding, guys. That's not the case. But basically, this was the last eBay auction that I bought. And the main reason why they're not in a box is because I took them out because the box was massive. It was legit so massive. But as always, guys, I will be leaving pictures on the screen right here just so you guys know how much I paid for this lot right here. Now, there was Yu-Gi-Oh cards mixed in with this lot, but hopefully there's more Pokemon than Yu-Gi-Oh because if there isn't, then we gonna have a problem. We are definitely going to have a problem and I'm going to have to go to rehab for stop going on eBay at like 2 a.m. at night looking for stuff to buy for the channel. I need to chill with that, man. I need to chill. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not up that late. But during the day, I'm always scrolling through eBay, see what kind of steals and finds I can actually get for the channel. And it's kind of not good for my bank account. Let's be real here. But anyways, guys, if you are hyped for today's video, go ahead and smash that like button right now smash that like button right now because if you guys do we will find a first edition base set charizard in one of these boxes right here now these are like card storage oh it says do not touch damn they were real with this man do not touch but anyways as i was saying before hopefully we can get a base set charizard from here that is my dream for one of these ebay auctions is finding some sort of charizard in these random lots basically profiting or getting my money's worth because i love getting my money's worth i don't like getting something expensive and then get nothing back out of it like that premium xy collection box hint hint okay i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop no shouts out to pokemon you did your thing man you did your thing but also make sure you guys subscribe and join the cool army and welcome as you guys know i have a gaming channel i post from mondays through Fridays and I take a break on Saturday and Sunday so that's gonna be the new upload schedule for the gaming channel link is in the description down below if you guys are into other type of games all type of games I play a bunch of horror games I play rules of survival I'm getting into PUBG I'm getting a brand new PC so we can play any game we freaking want to but without further ado guys turn on that bell for post notifications just so you never miss a video guys don't miss a video what's wrong with you don't ever miss a video because if you do you played yourself you played yourself but let's go ahead and stop blabbering and let's start with this first box right here man we got some popcorn right here is that what it's called popcorn no it's not called popcorn peanuts there we go we got some stuffing peanuts i'm pretty sure they're called peanuts but i don't know if they're called stuffing peanuts but anyways guys that is besides the point let's see what we're working with here we got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards over here Oh my god, these damn Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So we got a couple top loaders right here. Let's go ahead and see what cards these are. So we got an energy that's top loaded with a Voltorb. Are they even in a sleeve? No, they're not. Oh my god. This energy has seen better days for... Oh my god, that's a destroyed energy. And then we got a Voltorb right here. A pretty old school Voltorb. Speaking of old school, guys, tomorrow... I'm going to be dropping the vintage giveaway. That's going to be worldwide no matter where you live. So we got a Pikachu card right here. Basically from the movie I'm assuming. And this one is sleeved up. How are you going to sleeve this up but you don't sleeve up an actual reverse Pokemon card? That kind of has me questioning the condition of these. And then we got a Pikachu right there. Yo. where? How did they put Pikachu in here? How do I get this thing out? That's pretty dope right here. It's like a case. Put a perfect fit sleeve on a card. Then put it in this case. It's a wrap. Why'd they put a non-holographic, regular, common Pikachu in a plastic case? I mean, they must love Pikachu that much. But yo, how the hell do you open this? 
Oh my god, how do you open? Oh, okay, I see how it is. Oh my god, that's cool. That is cool. I'm not, I don't even care about that Pikachu. This case is where it's at, my dude. This case is where it's at. I'm definitely going to use this for one of my Kiram cards. Definitely, definitely going to be using this for one of my Kiram cards. Because this is dope. I don't know where you buy these, but I'm definitely going to look into that. Because I did not know that these were a thing, man. These are really, really cool. Alright, everybody. Let's see. What else are we working with? Oh, my God. Is this a cube? Yo. Ew. Oh, my God. That's a hairband. Oh, my God. No, no, no. That is nasty. That is straight up nasty. But, yo. I don't even care about these cards, man. The storage. Oh, okay, it's a little broken. It is a little broken. That is sad right there, man. That is definitely sad, but I'm going to see if I can fix it with like some super glue or something along those lines. I love the storage ideas from here. I really, really do. But let's see what we're working with right here, man. It looks like we've got some Pokemon cards. We got some Digimon cards. Oh, I love these. I absolutely love these. We got Weedle, Dragonair, Butterfree. We got a whole variety of Pokemon right here. So these are basically Pokemon, and then these are like movie scenes, I believe. I'm pretty sure these are movie scenes. Mewtwo Strikes Back. I actually recently watched that movie, like not too long ago. So I do remember a lot of it. And then we're getting into Digimon. I didn't even know Digimon was still a thing. Is it still a thing? I don't even know. We got some holographic Digimon cards right here. I don't even care too much about Digimon. But I do remember I used to binge watch that show like crazy when I was a kid. Like I literally sat on the TV and just watched Digimon for hours. It's kind of a catchy show, but it's repetitive like Pokemon. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's repetitive like Pokemon. So let's go ahead and put that to the side because I don't even understand none of it and it's basically irrelevant to this channel. So let's see what else do we got guys. We got a little binder right there. I'm gonna save that binder for last. I'm pretty sure these are all just, you know, common Yu-Gi-Oh cards and stuff like that. It looks like we got some foreign cards is what it looks like. This is a Spanish card. Yeah, it looks like, oh my god, what's wrong with that card? Yo, why is it black? That is actually pretty gross and nasty. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, check out that artwork. That is actually pretty creepy right there. That is pretty creepy. But I'm basically looking for holographics or anything along those lines. It looks like we got some vintage old school Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But they're in really bad shape. So it kind of has no purpose, honestly. We got, oh, I remember this one. It is... The Wing Dragon Guardian of the Forest, I'm pretty sure is the name. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. But like I said, man, these are all in bad condition. And no holographics or nothing like that. Alrighty, guys. Let's go ahead and put all our fate into this binder. Because there is nothing else in this box. So let's see what we're working with here. We got Pokemon cards. That is a good sign, guys. We got Pokemon cards. Is there three cards or is there two cards? Okay, it's two per page. So we got a base set, Vulpix right there. We got a Lampe. We got a Tierno. Ooh, that's nice right there. We got Koga's Kakuna. And it does look like it's in pretty decent shape as well. Yo, that's actually in really good shape. So we got a Koga's Kakuna. Definitely gonna put that to the side because it's one of the more worthy Pokemon cards of this lot. Looks like we got a Shroomish. We got a Sylveon, non-holographic. We got to get that focus in though, man. That's the bad part about opening up these little binders is my phone always goes out of focus and it's terrible, man. Why is there common cards in this binder? Like I thought binders are supposed to be for like your most prized possessions or something along those lines. We just keep getting crap after crap. Like I have a million copies of these. I'm pretty sure this is a base set Pidgey right there. So definitely going to put that to the side because... Pidgey is a go, you feel me? Like, Pidgey is actually a really dope Pokemon. We got a Jungle Eevee right there. Old school little Eevee, but we're not looking for Eevees, man. We got Giovanni's Nidorino. We got some nice old school cards. We got a Delta Species Shellgon right here. You guys already know, I love my Delta Species. However, that is not a holographic. It's not a reverse or nothing like that. So, it kind of serves no per- Ooh, is this a hollow? No, I don't see a holographic pattern, but I'm pretty sure this is a nice regular rare right there for sure. Definitely going to pickpocket all the old school cards from this binder because that's basically all it's worth right now. Because all these newer cards, they're not even special or nothing like that. So it looks like we got a few more pages left. We got some more old school cards right there. We got a Caterpie. 
What else do we got? Not even one hollow? Oh, we got a first edition Cubone right there, but it's not even in English. Actually, it is in English. For a second, I thought the first attack was in another language. But guys, oh my god, we got a Brox Mackie. That's actually an ugly looking Mackie right there. Just look at that face right there, man. But guys, this was a disappointing binder. However, it's not done yet. We still got one more box right here, and it does have Pokemon, and it does seem extremely heavy. And it has a label, guys. Carly's, I think that's what it says. Carly's super cool card collection. I hope this is a cool one, man. I hope this is a cool one. If you guys are hyped for today's video, for this moment right now, go ahead and smash that like button for your boy because it will mean the world to me. Your support never goes unnoticed for sure, everybody. But let's go ahead and reveal what this is. Oh my god. We got a ton of Pokemon cards right here, man. We got some more top loaders? What are these? Oh, please be some good cards. Oh no, if this is bulk, I'm gonna cry. If this is bulk, I swear. I am gonna cry. Oh my god, we got hit with the energies. We got some trainers though. Hopefully there's some old school trainers that are actually really playable. Oh, we got a VS Seeker right there. That's actually really, really nice. Everybody loves them VS Seekers. If I do miss... Ooh, a Battle Compressor. If I do miss anything that's really nice, let me know in the comments down below. Yo, that's actually a really old school card right here. Actually, both of these are. They're from the Diamond and Pearl series. We got some old school trainers right there. The Viridian City Gym, aka Giovanni's Gym. Or, uh, or it was more like a distraction, honestly. So it looks like we got a ton of like base set trainers. However, nobody uses these base set trainers anymore. And they don't seem to be in bad condition, which is a good thing which is a good thing so let's just go ahead and take out stack by stack and let's see what else we got guys yo we got some old school cards right here we got oh my god i'm kind of surprised right now this Pucciana is from an old school set or i'm pretty sure it's from an older set it might be from a newer one correct me if i'm wrong though guys oh my god i thought this was a hollow i swear the stars on that card literally surprised me i thought it was a hollow so it looks like we got some Sun and Moon cards in here. But where are the holographics? Where are the EXs? I didn't even get one reverse in this lot. I swear. If I don't get one reverse, I'm legit gonna lose it. Like, I'm seriously gonna lose it, guys. I want at least one holo. Please. Anything. Any type of holo. We got a Cosmoem right there. We got an old school Fero. It does look like in certain beat up condition, but I'm still gonna keep it because it's really, really cool. So come on, where are the hollows? Please, oh my god, Giovanni's Machop? Yo, Giovanni, my boy. Machop be needing some of that Moo Moo milk because look at him. He's trying to flex, but you know you scrawny as heck. Because look at Machop. It's trying to flex, but you know you scrawny as hell. But yo, we got a bunch of old school cards. I'm not even gonna front. I'm not complaining about that. We got some insane old school cards, which is probably better than one like regular holographic. But honestly, I'd rather see hollows than just bulk because this is what this is bulk right here. Or if we get a regular rare Charizard, then I'll be kind of satisfied with that. We got a nice dark war turtle right there. Absolutely beautiful. We got some more old school cards. We got a ton of old school cards. Yo, Machop actually drank some milk and turned into this Machoke. Where is the Machamp at though? Where is... Ooh, we got some first edition Spiro right there. Not bad, guys. And yo, we got a fake... Oh my god. Hitting them fake cards left and right. We got a Pig Knight with 10,000 HP. And a Lucario with 10,000 HP. These Pokemon cards will never ever die. But yo, if there's fake cards in here, I'm kind of getting worried, guys. I'm kind of getting worried. So we got a Diamond and Pearl right there. Look at the difference between the older cards and then some like Diamond and Pearl series. There's like a he- Oh my god. No, no, no. We're getting some more fake cards. Are you serious? These all better not be fake. Oh, we got a Dark Vaporeon in really good condition. And then we got a first edition Grimer. We got a ton of old school cards right here, guys. I'm not even going to complain. We got, oh, Misty's Magikarp. Definitely have to put that to the side. Because Magikarp is a beast, y'all. We got a first edition Persian. 
Yo, where is this girl getting all these first editions from? That is crazy right there. I'm not even gonna front. That is crazy. We're getting some first editions? That's actually surprising. First edition Shelter? What? Now I'm just waiting for that Charizard. Yo, I swear. I'm waiting for a random Charizard to pop. Ooh, we got Lord Helix. We got Lord Helix. But, you know, it's just a regular Lord Helix. So, it's nothing too crazy. And we got a Dotrio, Poliwhirl, Slowpoke, some Flora. I mean, it's nice seeing all these old school cards. But, your boy wants some holographics. But we're getting a ton of old school cards. I'm kind of not even going to complain because... Yo, why does this Weedle look a little fake? Is it me or the colors off? I'm probably tripping, but, you know, you can never be too sure. We got a ton of Charmanders, but we have no Charizard. We got a Charmeleon, but we have no Charizard. So where is that Charizard? That's all we need is one holographic Charizard, and it will make up for this entire freaking purchase. We got a first edition Arbok. Nice. That is really, really nice right there. Yo, we're hitting the first editions hard. Oh my god, I gotta put them to the side. I have to put them to the side because they are beautiful, honestly. I know you guys are probably wondering, why are you looking through all this? Oh my god, we got a fake Vulpix right there. Has like 6,000 HP. But you guys are all probably wondering, why are you looking through this bulk? It's because there's a ton of old school cards. So I feel like there's something secret, something amazing hidden within these cards yo we got a ferret from uh what is it a neo set i almost forgot about the set names we got a lord helix in premature form right there let's see what else we got though man like i said man no hollows that is really depressing we got a first edition butterfree right there though so we're getting some nice first editions we got a fake doug trio with 9000 hp that is crazy Stop giving me these fake cards because I do not want fake cards. We got another Vulpix, guys. And it looks like we got some more freaking bulk right here. Another fake Lucario. That's it, guys. I'm going to do a quick time lapse running through these cards. And if I find something amazing, I'll get back to you guys. So give me one second. Alrighty, so out of that stack, I did find the legendary birds right there. Unfortunately, they're all regular rares. So let's keep on going and hopefully we can get our first hollow or something along those lines in the final stack. So let's get it. Alrighty guys, in the end, I played myself. I literally played myself. There is nothing in these cards. I literally bought bulk. That's what I legit bought, so I'm kind of disappointed in that. But it is what it is, man. I did find this nice Gengar throughout the bulk, but like I said, it's a regular rare, nothing too crazy, as well as like the other first edition cards and whatnot that I found. I'll probably organize this entire bulk from like the bad condition cards, the good condition cards, give them away in the vintage Pokemon giveaway. So like I said, man, if you are excited for that, go ahead and leave that like and make sure you guys show your support in the comments. And without further ado, I'm just going to end the video right here because this was a terrible buy. This was definitely, definitely a terrible buy. I need to be more focused and I need to be more on point with my eBay purchases. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and end the video right here because so far this is all the fake cards I found within that bulk. And that's not even thoroughly looking through the stacks. This is just off the top of my head, you know, going through them really quick. That's kind of scary, man. Like this Moltres looks real, like from the front. However, when you turn it around, that back is just terrible and fake. 
compared to a real card right there so if you rip it as you can see there's no ink in between so these are definitely definitely fake cards right there like i said no ink in between they're all fake so without further ado i'm just gonna go ahead and end the video right here and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace <laughs>